There's a whole sequence of trainings, starting from Alpha 1 going through Alpha 6. There's actually a total of 24 different Alpha trainings. Some of them work with subbands, Fast Alpha, Middle Alpha, and Slow Alpha. But as you go from Alpha 1 through Alpha 6, you get increasingly more information, more channels of information uh, for your brain uh, to learn. And um, in Alpha 1, typically, uh, people have left and right occipital and left and right central as feedback, plus their hemicoherences. Now, in the um, premium double, in the deluxe premium double, we sneak in, in the course of the week, starting on day four, the frontals and their hemicoherences, and on day six, the temporals and their hemicoherences. So by day seven, people have 12 channels of feedback information, audio and digital numerical. And uh, in Alpha 2, you start with those 12 channels. And so it's not a workup. Retention is a function of overlearning. So the more overlearning you do, the more you retain the new skills and the new abilities that come to you from having increased alpha. And so alpha two gives you more of the channels and it gives you more training time in those channels. And uh, much of the first three or four days of the alpha one is learning how to learn. All learning is divided into two parts, learning how to learn and then the actual learning. And so in alpha one, you actually maybe only have three or four days of learning and they don't typically have all 12 channels, which is where Alpha 2 starts. And so you can go deeper. Then when you come to Alpha 3, what you're doing is you're working on the hemicoherence or the integration of your left and your right brain. In fact, the theme of Alpha 3 is integration where the power channel volume feedback is turned down and the hemicoherence tone volume feedback is turned up. So your brain gets to focus more fully on the integration of the left and the right hemisphere pairwise, the frontal pair, the temporal pair, the central pair, and the occipital pair.